come and let us return unto the Lord. For he hath torn and he will heal us. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us. In the third day he will raise us up. And we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. His going forth is prepared as the morning. And he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and former rain unto the earth. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee two trumpets of silver, of a whole piece shalt thou make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly, and for the journeying of the camps. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. I wanted to kind of update you guys a little bit um, some things that are taking place around the world and it's mainly concerning the Jordan Valley we know we are getting near the I guess now we're in the um, sixth sixth month fixing to go into the seventh month of the negotiations here uh, that uh, John Kerry spearheaded by John Kerry, the Obama administration, uh, <clears throat> pushed by the Vatican, uh, the peace negotiation between Israel and the Palestinians for a two-state solution. And one of the things that I thought about when I began to see, there's, there's a lot of fight over the Jordan Valley uh, because the Palestinians, with them getting their own state, they want to be able to maintain the security themselves uh, or have the United States come in and uh, broker a security agreement this way here so that they get the Israelis out of there altogether, basically to be able to bring in all the weapons they want for their future agreement that they will have with uh, uh, Iran. And at the same token, uh, I could not help but think that we're getting into a part of the pregnancy or the labor pains here where um, that Rachel experienced in, in, in the prophecy that I told you about there where God had told Rachel there were two nations in her womb. They're not two children, but they're two nations. And when they come forth, they would be separated at the womb. And this was Esau and Jacob. And they're warring with one another. They're fighting in, in, in the womb now. And uh, this is your two-state solution. But we have to remember in Ezekiel, Ezekiel's prophecy in chapter 35 speaks about how the Vatican, as they're watching, Edom and Mount Sierra there, they're watching and their intention is to take both these nations, um, both Israel and uh, the Palestinian state. It's just really a front as far as they're concerned. And we're going to get into... A lot of inter interesting information in the Vatican series uh, that we will begin here. Actually, the first video will come out later tonight. Um, something interesting that I'm going to bring out to you. I found that uh, there have been others that have thought similarly uh, along the lines similar to what I'm going to share with you, but something that the Lord has kind of revealed to my own heart is that uh, the ten kings that are written in Revelation have nothing to do with the EU. These are Arab nations. That come together and ironically I found out that in 2009-2010 uh, when the Arab League signed the covenant with the Vatican to restore diplomatic or to, to bring about diplomatic ties and to uh, look into the fact that they both believe in one God uh, and <laughs> I mean just say the way they believe it 
Uh, they b believe that they share the same God. I kind of agree with that. Uh, but um, what was interesting in this is that um, um, they um, they they actually th there were ten nations that were that are part of the Arab League that actually signed that. And let me just see if I can pull that up for you. I'll actually bring it up in the Vatican series, the 10 nations that were actually involved, because I can't think of what they are right off the top of my head here. Um, but anyway, there were 10 nations. And the reason why I look at this is because you have to remember, those 10 kings end up turning on the whore and destroying her. But there's another group of people that mourn for her destruction and weep. And, uh, you know, the merchants from, a, from afar off, they weep and mourn for her destruction. That's the United States. That's Canada. That's the EU. Uh, they're all upset over the destruction of the Vatican because why? They were made rich by her delicacies, by her economic stability. And that's why I say this has not been fulfilled as of yet because the economy has got to go down. The Vatican has got to become come up as the savior of the world economy, and there has to be a flourishment from that. But the reason why the Ten Kings will turn on the Vatican, which is the Arab nations, is because the Vatican was using them all along to get control of Jerusalem. And so there becomes a bitter resentment for the covenant that they make with the Vatican, and they will destroy the Vatican. Uh, so that's where the Vatican's destruction will come from. Now, another thing that came to my mind I wanted to share with you, and that is, uh, I mentioned to you a little while back how that, uh, besides the part about Rebecca, but I also mentioned to you how that, um, um, uh, sorry, I got, I got several things on my mind here getting ready for this Vatican series here, and I'm wanting to share with you some other things as well. Uh, Oh, and one of, one of the most important things that I really did want to bring out uh, is that um, uh, they, there, there was a, a vote that is actually in Israel, it's been reported in uh, Debka files as well as the Rut Shiva uh, that the ministers approved Jordan Valley annexation, which means uh, in layman terms there that Israel as of right now is not giving up the Jordan Valley. Uh, to the security forces. Now that has only created uh, a very angry uh, Lavini, uh, the lady uh, Zepini, Zepini, how do you say her name? I always forget how to say her. Uh, she's the justice minister, uh, Miss Lavini, who is uh, the head of the negotiation team for Israel. It angered her that they did not make the concession and move the peace process forward. Of course, the United States is vowing to bring out uh, a campaign against Benjamin Netanyahu because of this happening. Um, and they're going to try to accuse him for the peace process not working. Um, I did make a comment on there, and I just wanted to see if, uh, uh, if they actually posted my comment. When I made it, there were no comments as of yet. Uh, and... Uh, Wow, they've had like 39 comments on this already. I like this one here. Everyone bow to Queen Lavini. Uh, very good. Um, oh, come on here. Let's see. They may not post the one that I did. I, I really was kind of tough on this. Well, unfortunately, they did not post the comment that I made. Uh, Anyway, it's because I condemn the Vatican. Uh, and I speak about uh, this fulfilling Daniel's prophecy, Daniel 9 and Daniel 11. So the, uh, to expose that is something they do not want public. They, and just like the Vatican series we're fixing to do here, they don't want that. They don't want you knowing anything about that. Um, any, at any rate, though, one of the things that I want to uh, say to you guys that I wanted to bring out. Um, when I mentioned to you a little while back when they let go, they released all these prisoners uh, back to the Palestinians, this has really brought a serious problem uh, for Israel. Uh, it was the spirit of Barabbas being loosed. Uh, 
It's exactly what was happening. And I, there was no doubt that if they're going to accept a murderer, uh, that that spirit would be, would be released and it would cause, again, um, just a horrible... Uh, oh, they did post my comment. Look here. This is what I said. It's comment number 41. Whose side are you on? What has happened to the faithful of Israel? Who has appointed Levini to her position? Has Hashem not warned us to make no covenants with the Goim? That's the heathen or the nations. Yet you will bow to the Vatican. Full well has Daniel spoke of this prince that would come. He would be of the Romans. Those that destroyed our city in chapter those that have destroyed our city. In chapter 11, he comes up strong with a small people, the Palestinians. The prophets have warned you. Think not Eliyahu or Moshe, that's Elijah and Moses, will come and be for this filthy covenant, but will bring judgment. That's exactly what I told them. So I thank God that they actually posted it. Um... That means there, but but anyway, uh, just um, something that I wanted you to think about. But the Barabbas spirit that was loosed out has caused now the murderous Palestinians to start taking action. They were given the 50 caliber machine guns, and now they're killing off Jews from a distance. Um, one last thing, back to the part about the sixth month that we're in. Now we're going into the seventh month in January here of this peace process or the travail of Israel. You know, you have to keep in mind when the children are first forming in the womb for Rebecca, uh, in the early trimesters, she wouldn't have had as much of that movement. But when the sixth month came, seventh, eighth, and ninth, this is really when the child begins to move and kick and fight. This is what we're about to see now. These next months here will be unbelievable. The negotiations that will be made, the concessions that will be made, the, the, the tearing up of the Jewish people in order to make room for the Palestinian people, it will be unbelievable. Uh, we know also when the two boys were born, Esau and Jacob, the hatred that was there. Uh, we know Esau married Hmm. Interesting, right? He married a Holobama. That was his wife, a, Can a Canaan woman. I, I think she was a Hittite. And uh, so, guess what? Palestinians have married up with the Vatican. And, of course, all her lovers. We'll get into all that later. Anyway, God bless you. I trust this has been a blessing for you. Pray for us. And, again, we thank you for the support you guys give us in getting this message out. Um, the, the more that you do that, the more we're able to get this message out to the Jewish people, to the Gentile people. And um, oh, one thing I want to mention to you as well, my wife, uh, as well as uh, Sister Mina Lee as well with uh, the churchonline.com, some incredible revelations these women have been having here lately. I know there's other women around the world that have great revelations as well. And... Um, one that my wife brought to me the other day, and, and then we've seen there were some other people that noticed this as well as we begin to do, I began to do a little research online. And that was, she said to me, when the Bible says that he will destroy those that are destroying the earth, she told me, you know, I can't help but believe that's where they're trying to intentionally cause the New Madrid earthquake to happen by the uh, oil, BP oil spill to weaken that area. Uh, the Canary Islands, where we found out that they were sending uh, high sonic frequencies directed at the island, it was actually caught. There's a video out there where you can see the frequency waves that were directed straight towards the Canary Islands. Um, all kinds of things. And we know they have the HARP weather system that's out there to cause destruction on this earth, to, to bring storms where they want to bring them and things of that nature. Uh, those that are destroying the earth, God will destroy. Because God sees what they're doing. And this is something that I'm watching very closely. Uh, by the way, just as I'm sitting here, look out the window for a second here. We've got about a dozen doves now that decided to camp out here on the porch. 
You know, we always had two out here. There was a little family too. They had a baby. They put the little nest in here above the tree by, by my office here. And now we have like a dozen that are here. And it just started happening. It's really strange how that happens there. They all flew up at one time. Uh, yesterday, I seen them in the backyard. About 12 of them. I haven't actually counted them, but it's about 12 doves. And I thought, that's odd. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, Sister Mina as well, some remarkable revelations. Uh, I know she's going to be doing a, a live radio broadcast on January 1st with Brother Michael. Uh, again, if you look up uh, on, on the website, thehomechurchonline.com. Uh, that is, uh, we're part of that ministry as well. Uh, uh, they, they post our videos there. Sister Mina writes articles there, so does Brother Michael. But they're also doing a, uh, a, a live radio broadcast. It's starting up, and the first one is January 1st. And I think Sister Mina will be uh, sharing some of those revelations that's, that God has given her. And, uh, and I think right after he does that, I'll share with you something that he revealed to me while he was uh, dealing with Sister Mina. Uh, God bless you, uh, and we love you, and thank you for all that you do and do for Israel.